increasing amount of confusion these days around gender. It seems it's becoming more and more problematic, particularly for men to understand what it means to be masculine. Now, before you think of me as being misogynistic or uh, politically incorrect, let me emphasize I'm not judging anybody about their sexuality or their gender preference. But in this video, I'm going to be reading from a very famous poem written by Rudyard Kipling around 120 years ago now, where it gives advice to men on some attributes about what it takes to be masculine. The poem is simply called If, and it goes like this. If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you, and if you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, but make allowance for their doubting too, if you can wait and not be tired by waiting and being lied about, don't deal in lies or being hated, don't give way to hating and yet don't look too good or talk too wise. If you can dream and not make dreams your master, if you can think and not make thoughts your aim. If you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two imposters just the same. If you can bear to hear the truth you've spoken twisted by knaves to make a trap for fools or watch the things you gave your life to broken and stoop and build them up again with worn out tools. If you can make one heap of all your winnings and risk it on one turn of pitch and toss and lose and start again at your beginnings and never breathe a word about your loss. If you can force your heart and nerve and sinew to serve your turn long after they are gone and so hold on when there is nothing in you except the will which says to them, hold on. If you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue and walk with kings, nor lose the common touch. If neither foes nor loving friends can hurt you, if all men count with you, but none too much. If you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run, yours is the earth and everything that's in it and which is more, you'll be a man, my son.